stars are supposed to die. Physics gives them strict limits. When fuel runs out, gravity wins, and the star collapses or explodes. But some stars don't follow the rules. Yet they're still there. White dwarfs are one example. Once a star like our sun dies, it becomes a dense core supported by electron pressure. There's a hard limit to how massive it can be, the Chandrasekhar limit. Cross it, and collapse is inevitable. Except some white dwarfs appear to exceed that limit. They spin faster, grow heavier, and somehow remain stable. Rotation may be holding them up, or unknown physics may be helping them survive. Then there are neutron stars. They're already extreme, a star crushed into a city-sized sphere. Theory predicts a maximum mass before they collapse into black holes. Yet astronomers have detected neutron stars heavier than that limit should allow. These stars shouldn't exist, but they do. Some stars survive repeated explosions. Certain massive stars erupt in supernova-like events, shedding enormous mass. Yet they don't die. They flare, dim, and recover again and again. These are called supernova imposters. They look like stellar deaths, but the star lives on. There are also stars that appear far older than the universe should permit. Their chemical makeup suggests they formed earlier than current models allow. Relics that shouldn't t have survived cosmic evolution. And then there are ma neutron stars with magnetic fields so powerful they should tear themselves apart. Yet they persist, stable against forces we barely understand. Each of these objects pushes against the boundaries of stellar physics. They hint that our models are incomplete, that stars may have hidden ways to resist collapse, or that entirely new states of matter exist inside them. The unsettling possibility is this. Death isn't always final in the universe. Some stars find ways to endure, balanced on the edge of destruction, refusing to fade. For more cosmic mysteries that challenge physics, subscribe.